Hello guys, Jamie here, and welcome to the first Game Maker tutorial. So basically in this video we'll just be going over the user interface, and um, this is for complete beginners, and um, I'll probably do a series just, you know, getting you used to this program. So straight away, you're going to get all these, and these are all your folders that contain all your resources, all your files, this is how you're going to find everything, okay? You don't need to worry about these for the moment, um, so that's fine. And basically how this works is you make images or sprites and then you basically program them. But first thing you always have to do when you start is make a new image. So for very beginners you can either click this red sort of Pac-Man thing here, it says create a sprite, or you can right click on there and then click on create sprite. You cannot, um, actually no, we're not going to that just yet. That's not very important, we need to keep it simple for now. So we're going to create a sprite. And this is what you'll get when you're creating any images or sprites. And obviously you've got the name here. Um, so usually you all, you always want, you don't want to leave anything sprite 0, sprite 1, because you'll have a lot of sprites and you'll always get confused. So what I like to do is SPR stands for sprite, underscore, and then whatever I want to name it. So for now we'll just call it wall, because you know, you need walls. Um, so let's edit the sprite, and uh, you can either load it from an all a picture you already have, save it, and um, that's only if you want to use it later, and edit it is what we're going to do now. And this brings you to this little window, and um, so first of all you've got the create new image, because this can store lots of images and play them like an animation. So we'll create a new image, and basic, the basic, like this, you'll understand it later, but for now, we'll just make it 32 by 32 because that's like the default, you know, size. You can scroll in and out to resize it. You've got all your tools here. For just now, all you want to do is just click on the fill in area tool and make I don't know. Let's make a dark blue wall. Okay, so there's our wall. And um, if you wanted to, just press you know Control Z to go back. The button's also there. You've got this tool here all the different variations of it, we can do that, right click to pick a colour for the inside, left click and then drag that out and we've got a sort of square thing if you prefer that, but for now we're just going to keep it simple making one of them, so I press OK. Now, now you can see you've got image zero, you cannot rename this, um, but you press show a preview, there you go. Um, if you click show a preview and you've got lots of images you can edit the speed and it'll play the, the animation here. Now also in here you've got lots of different things you can add like button eyes which does this to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you know test out all of them. Actually no we're gonna use, no we're not gonna use that we need to keep this simple. <laughs> I forget this is the first one. So there we go. You don't want to bother about the origin or masks right now. They will come in later. So you press OK. So now we've got our wall and you can see it in our sprites folder here. So we're going to create a new sprite and sprite let's say character. So I'm just going to write in C-H-A-R and I'm going to edit the sprite. Now you want it to be different from the wall but still 32 by 32. Edit this, open this a bit and let's just make it uh, let's just make a circle, it's dark red and black, why not eh? Um, there we go. That's fine. Add that there. Um, so now you've got both the images you need for a very, very, very basic game. Um, this is going to contain all of your images that you're going to use in this. As you can see, you've also got a folder for sounds, backgrounds, paths. Don't need to get. You don't need to really think about that. Scripts. You don't need to think about that either right now. Fonts. Nah, do you need to think about that? Timelines, uh, they're a funny one, but you know that's more for if you're making them, you know, and you want you've got a big project. That's when you want to start doing them. That's like uh, triggering things at different times. Um, and objects, this is a big, this is the most important thing. This is where you program them. So in this tutorial, all we're going to be doing is just we just made our sprites. We know how to make more sprites. Um, I'm just going to show you the rest of the user interface now, so we've got create sprite, this runs the game, if you hover over them you can see it runs in debug mode, and um, we can have a look at that later in a later tutorial, but not right now, 
and um, this is just the C in between these two lines here, that one there, and that one there. This is all just creating things like, uh, well, they're all, they're all, sorry, they're all in order, like sprites, sounds, backgrounds, sprites, sounds, backgrounds, paths, la di da. So, I think that'll do it for now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see.